Jordan to Martin. Here we go. Green light is on now. Dave Sarri, we're away. Holder's got it. He's there. Doyle's alongside him. Smiles it now. Creeping in. It's always out of shape. It's going to go to the back. Oh, disaster for Smiles. They get the first corner. Holder and Jason Doyle away. Down the back straight. First and second. Here comes Freddie Lingwood through into third place. Bartek Smarslik out the back, but for Jake Holder out in front. Is he going to win his first Grand Prix? Yeah, he's looking set to do so. It's going to be a mistake that would cost him because he's just pulling away now. Jason Doyle will be uh, very, very happy to end up with a second place. And Lindgren as well. They've battled all night long. It's uh, not really spreading out too much this race, but I made up for Jack Holder if he gets his first win here. But Doyle's tenacious. He's going to keep going at him. He is indeed. Jack Holder now with less than a lap to go. Superb start. What a night he's had. Here we go. Nervous down the back straight. One last turn to go. Jack Holder out in front. Oh, a special move for Holder. Wins his first Grand Prix in the first Grand Prix of the season in Croatia. Fabulous seats for him. Super, super moment for young Jack Holder. Fantastic performance from Jason Doyle. Smarslik misses out. Doesn't need the World Championship for the first time in two years. But the night belongs to Jack Holder. What a moment for him. Yeah, and he's been the best rider, in my opinion, all night. Jason Doyle, the first to catch him up and congratulate him. Green light is on now. Tapes are up and around the way. Great start from Doyle. Here comes Smarslik. Smarslik's gone very wide. Brilliant corner from Doyle. Doyle stretches a march down the back straight. He hits the front. Lambert's through in the third place. But Bartos Smarslik in second place is going to hunt Jason Doyle down. Yeah, Jason Doyle cannot afford to make any mistakes. Riding well, bikes working well. He'll be hearing the chains. He'll be hearing the motor. Smarslik doing all he can. Second place in this Narodomi Stadium tonight. Won't be enough for him. But Jason Doyle is doing everything right at the moment, but Smarslik waiting to pounce. Jason Doyle, just over a lap to go, has ridden superbly well. He's into the last lap, less than 270 metres to go. Bartos Smarslik coming on strong in second place. One last blast down the back straight. Jason Doyle through the last corner, and he's going to be a Grand Prix winner once again. Doyle wins in the Narodomi. What a fantastic moment for him. He's been the rider of the night. Always off the bike, down the back straight. That's a little embarrassing. Touch embarrassing, but I don't think he cares. No. What a night. He's happy with What that. a night. He's had seven rides, he's had six wins. He had seven rides two weeks ago. He didn't have any wins. No, it's uh, polar opposites for Jason Doyle, but he doesn't care. He doesn't care, he's throwing the bike down the track. He's on top of the world at the moment. Here we go, takes her up. Holder's made it off the inside. Mickelson! Whoa, what a start from gate number three. Couldn't win there all night long. He fires himself to the front. Holder in the second place. Smarsley back in third. Mickelson has had a couple of really tough years. The only reason he's in the Grand Prix is because he won the European Championship. He's out in front. What a stunning start for Mikkel Mickelson from gate number three. Oh, great stuff from Mickelson. Absolutely superb. Came in tonight in tenth place. He'll be moving up the standings if he can hold on to this. He'll be hearing every noise now as Smarslik is uh, doing his best there. But it's Jack Holder putting him under pressure around the inside. I think he's oh, going to stick to his guns. Here we go. Jack Holder coming on strong in second place. Mikkel Mickelson now slams the door shut. Just over a lap to go to do that because Jack Holder was coming on so very strong in second place. What a moment this will be for Mikkel Mickelson. Oh, smash it now. Oh, it's it's better. Holder back up the inside. Stunning speedway here in Germany tonight. But Mikkel Mickelson out of the last corner. What a moment for him. He wins in Germany. He wins his first Grand Prix. What a moment for Mikkel Mickelson. Oh, look at that. Sensational moment for him. An oh, unbelievable start from gate number three. Bartos Marslik and Jack Holder swapping places late on in the final. Fabulous speedway. Speedway out of the top draw. I don't care. My draw is big. It's full. Tapes up. We're away. Martin Vasilik's made a smashing start. Yes, he's got there. But Bartos Marslik's in traffic. He's trying to get up the inside. It's tight. It. Oh, he's got himself into second place. He had to hustle that. Kubera didn't want to get out of the way, but 
Bartos Marsling was desperate to get there, but Martin Veselik, can he make it a hat-trick? Oh, he's riding superbly, he certainly deserves it. Lingren now putting Smarsik under pressure. We've said all night, Smarsik not really fast on the bike tonight, but I'll tell you what, Martin Veselik looking every bit the winner there. Bike working for Smarsik, just doesn't have the pace that Martin Veselik's got out front. Freddy Lingering looking very threatening, coming round the outside of Bartos Marsling. Oh, he's done him down the back straight. What a moment for Freddy Lingren. As you rightly say, Smarsling hasn't got the speed. He's relegated back to third place, but out in front. This is going to be extra special now. Martin Vashlik, oh, it's tied for second and third. <laughs> but Martin Vashlik through the final corner, a hat-trick of wins in the Marquetta. He's going to be absolutely overjoyed with that. What a performance in the last three years here for Martin Vashlik. Back to top form. He won here last year. He won in the Principality as well in Cardiff. And Martin Vasilik wins in 2024 in the Marquetta Stadium. Fantastic. Yeah, fantastic. Fully deserved. Definitely the quickest rider throughout the entire evening. He really has deserved his victory tonight. Martin Vasilik wins the final. The grand final in Manila. Three lights on. Oh! Oh, Smarsnik. Smarsnik's there, but he's gone wide. Very wide indeed, Frick. Oh, here he comes. Here he here comes. comes. Roaring round the outside, Frick oh, wants he's him. gone back. Look at that. Oh, Smarsnik fires himself to the front. Lambert's coming through in the third frame. Frick hits the he's front again. again. Oh, oh, fantastic <laughs> Lambert Speedway. Can you believe it? I tell you what, Smarsnik, he was so committed there for those opening two, two corners first lap, but he got... Both wheels very close to going over the line, coming into that corner, uh, turn one on the second lap. So it's going to be interesting to see that again. But Max Frick is going to keep working that inside as his only opportunity. Smarzik's got the bit between his teeth. He wants that first win of the season. Smarzik out in front. What a moment for him. And the context of the World Championship with Jack Holder back in fourth. He is going to pull further away the championship chase. This is a defining moment in the championship in 2024. The champion is the champion in Sweden tonight. What a performance. He had a dreadful draw. Two gate fours and a gate three. He picked up huge points from there. Brilliant ride. And Bartosz Marslik back to his best tonight. And look how he celebrates. The team will be overjoyed with that. By his standards, it's been a long time coming this year. To round five before he wins one, but boy, did he win that one. What a ride. What a ride with Frick. Him for the second time this year. Or will we see Mickelson win for the second time? Here we go. Saves up. Madsen's made a lovely start, but oh, no. Smarslik's there. Here comes Mickelson. Madsen's Off the first him. corner. Madsen's got a problem. Freddie Lingwood now coming in in second place. Desperately disappointing for Leon Madsen, but Bartosz Smarslik out in front and hunting him down is fast Freddie Lingren. Tell you what, Freddie Lingren, he's got pace. He's a little bit quicker than Smarslik. Derline's a long way round. He's got to go a long way, but if he times cut back perfectly, he will run in, he will charge him. We know oh. that. It's not quite there yet. It's all action out in front. Here, he Here comes Freddie. Here he comes. Freddie now up the inside. Smarslik working overtime out in front. Now Freddy's round the outside, Smarslik's vulnerable. Done it. Done He's it. coming on, Done a it. clash. Lingwood hits the front. Oh, what a final we're witnessing here. And fast Freddy Lingwood has done it down the back straight. Through the final corner. What a ride from Lingwood. And Lingwood wins here in Gorjov. What a ride that is. 38 years of age, riding like a teenager there. That was a sensational final. And uh, what a moment that is. And look at that smile. That is proper <laughs> smile because... It's a proper grin, isn't it? It is, because he's a normally a very stoic yeah. guy. What a way to conclude. Julie's made a lovely start. He gets there. Julie's fired himself to the front. Robert Lambert's right alongside him. Here comes Freddie Lingren in the third place. Doesn't quite get there with Cabrera out the, out the back. Dan Bewley off the inside gate with a 100% record in finals. Fires himself to the front. Robert Lambert pushing on in second place. Desperately trying to find a way to the front. But Dan Bewley's away again. Dan Bewley's going to need eyes in the back of his head because Robert Lambert really is riding 
very, very hard. He looked away from the inside, couldn't find it. Dan Bewley now moving out. That's normally where he rides quick. That's working for him. Bike hooking up. Is he going to win again here in Cardiff? Looking likely. One lap to go. Looks like it's going to be a British 1-2 here. Dan Bewley and Robert Lambert clearing off out in front. One last blast. The crowd are on their feet. They carry him home. Bewley wins in the Principality again. Listen to the crowd. Wow. Tell you what, what a finish to the night. We've never seen a British 1-2 here at Cardiff. What a night to remember. Special night of Speedway. Green light is on. Oh, a bit of movement from Lambert. He's missed the start. Martin Vasilik hasn't. He fires himself to the front. Mickelson's there, but he's run wide. Round the outside comes Freddie Lindgren. Lambert's up in the second place, but Martin Vasilik would have a lovely start. Robert Lambert. Got to believe he was feeling the nerves on the start line there with Freddie now coming through in the second place. But Martin Vasilik made no mistake at all, and he's away. Yeah, Martin Vasilik riding a safe race, riding around the inside, got the bike hooking up quite nicely. Lingren riding around the dirt, doing absolutely everything he can. Switch his tack now. And Martin Vasilik actually moving out to some dirt mid-track for the first time this race. Looks like it's settling down, but Lingren hasn't given up yet. Lingren hasn't. Mikkel Mickelson's out the back. We're into the final lap here. Brilliant stuff from Martin Vasilik off the inside. Freddie working overtime again, charging round the outside. Disappointment for Robert Lambert back in third place. The wait for his maiden victory goes on. But it's a terrific night for Martin Vasilik. He wins his second Grand Prix of the season. And really and truthfully, he has been the man to beat. One blip tonight where he failed to score in his fourth ride. But Vashlik doesn't miss out when you give him the inside gate when it's working so well. He nails it. Freddie Lingren again rock solid in second place. Got a feel for Lambert. That wait for a win continues. But for Martin Vashlik, that is superb. Brilliant, brilliant stuff from Martin Vashlik. We are now at Heat 23. It's the grand final in the Baikonur Stadium here tonight. Here we go then, final time in Riga. Tapes up, we're underway. Beauty's made a lovely start on the inside. He gets there. He fasts himself to front. Beauty, whoa, he's under pressure now. Sparsling with a sensational first corner. Freddie Lee follows him through around the outside of Beauty. Beauty got beaten up there. That was a stunning move from Barto Smarslik. Freddie now giving chase. Back in second place, Beauty back in third. Oh, oh Smarslik's out, out of shape there. Yeah, Smarslik got all out of shape there. He's riding a little bit tight. He's not comfortable, but I tell you what, he's racing hard. And Lingren's doing absolutely everything he can. He knows this is a decent result, but it's going to see Smarslik take a couple more points. Lead going into the last couple of rounds. He's still going at it. Bewley, unfortunately for him, done everything off the start. Just got swallowed up in the first turn. Smarslik out in front. What a result this is going to be. Didn't look like a winner earlier on. Not at all. Freddie's trying everything he knows back in second place. But it's going to be back-to-back -back wins for the world champion here in the Baikonur in Riga. That's an astonishing result. A round of applause. For Bartos Marslik, that's why he's a four-time world champion. He's been under immense pressure. The confidence has been dented recently. But wow, that stunning move in the first corner, fired him to the front, Chris. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, he's had a terrible night, hasn't he? He's won the Grand Prix, extended <laughs> his lead with two rounds to go. I tell you what, he worked hard. The way he started his uh, evening underneath those bikes. So there we go. Can the Polish uh, fans here in the crowd there? You can see them. Green light is on. Tapes are up. Robert Lambert's made an absolutely sensational start from gate number two. He fires himself to the front. Lebedev goes around the outside. Smarslik slips back to third place. Round the outside is Max Eulot. Here comes Bartosz Smarslik. Oh, what a move from him. Robert Lambert. Will he 
win the Grand Prix? Will he win his first Grand Prix here in Boyens? Yeah, he's looking, he's on his way, but Smarslik, again, just as he's done all night, he's doing what he's got to do. If he can stay there, of course, he will be a five-time world champion. Indeed he will. We're down the back straight. Robert Lambert has cleared off out in front. His heart rate must be through the roof. So much, and so also the same applies for Bartos Smarsley. We've got less than a lap to go. Robert Lambert with a stunning start out of gate number two. This is a special moment for him. He wins his first Grand Prix in Boyers, and Smarsley is a five-time world speedway champion here in Denmark tonight. What a moment. When you consider what happened here 12 months ago, he comes back and wins the championship in Denmark. What a moment for Smarslik, and many congratulations to Robert Lambert for winning his maiden Grand Prix. Terrific result. Yeah, it's all happening here tonight. Robert Lambert wins his first ever Speedway Grand Prix. Final here in Torin, green lights on, tapes are up, away we go, roaring into the first corner, Bewley locked alongside Madsen, Madsen's got there, got to say, De um, uh, Smarsley, ruthless in the first corner, he blocked the move from Freddie Lingwin, Lingwin is out the back, here comes Smarsley around the outside, he hits the front, can you believe it, the world champion finding it somewhere, here comes Freddie Lingwin as well, Madsen now back to the front, superb speed by here in the final. Uh, this is good from Madsen, he was really determined there, Smarsley looked like he'd made his way to the front, here he comes, up the inside, he's going to straight line it, can Madsen now turn the bike back, can he get his wheels in line early enough, Smarsley's got to the dirt, oh, I think he's done it, I think it's going to stick now. Brilliant stuff from Bartosz Smarsley, really has found it tough tonight, but he's out in front, beauty now into third place, Freddie Ligman's going to miss out on Silver now, he's out the back, Bartosz Smarsley on Tardy. One last blast for the world champion, and he's going to win here in Torun. What a night for him. Can you believe it? Yes. That is a mark of a champion. Somehow finding the ingredients, the strength of mind to come through and win here in Torun. His third win in uh, 2024. Got a feel for Lingren. He did everything he possibly could. Madsen relegated to second place. But the plaudits will be all about that man. Uh, once again, he hasn't got it all right. Like Riga, he hasn't got it right. It's been a tough night for him. But when it matters, oh, he goes and does it. He does it in style. Chris. Unbelievable. He just never looked like a winner tonight. Having to ride defensively, the bike not really working very well. But by golly, when it really mattered, he just finds an extra gear. A stunning ride and performance again from Bartosz Marsley. Panudi coming through in the third place. Got a feel for Freddie. He must have felt that he had every chance of a silver. But Robert Lambert will hang on, hang on. to uh, the silver medal. Bartosz Marsley, stunning ride. He wins here in Torin. Leon Madsen back in second place. Dan Bewley in third. And Freddie Lingwin just missing out on the rostrum. Uh, he finished in fourth place. But uh, this man delights the home crowd. Yeah. He transcends the sport in this country. He is a huge sporting icon.